Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for a Monday's trading session, the 20th of Feb 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the uh, app via the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where do we stand in terms of the uh, the actual markets at present? The US equities certainly have uh, pushed to new highs again. They pushed uh, to new highs on Friday uh, going into the close and uh, certainly have uh, obviously made further gains overnight, <clears throat> which really, I mean, the, the gains themselves are circumspect given the fact that uh, it is a, a holiday uh, for the US today. Uh, now, in terms of Asian markets overnight, the uh, Shanghai made a uh, stellar uh, rally up 0.9 percent, the back of stronger Chinese growth or expectations of stronger Chinese growth. And we had uh, the Asian markets, which has the Nikkei, more or less flat on the back of uh, weaker exports. Uh, although, having said that, the Hang Seng was certainly higher and the Shanghai at 1.2 percent. So, just bear that in mind. But the Australian index certainly was uh, into resistance, it certainly held that as well. Okay, so uh, we certainly got a gap higher on the back of uh, obviously stronger Chinese data. Oh, well, should not say stronger Chinese data, but stronger Chinese equity market at 1%. Uh, that certainly helped copper and uh, oil as well. Oil at 54, copper certainly rebounding uh, at present. We have gold pushing higher as well. So commodities certainly get catching uh, a bid. Now, for the FTSE itself was under pressure, led by uh, the craft uh, retracement. So we had. Uh, Kraft Heinz backing out of the $143 billion bid for Unilever, which certainly caused a spike on Friday on the FTSE itself, uh, being Unilever being a British company. Now, if I just bring up the FTSE 100 and give you an insight here, 10-minute job of the FTSE 100 here. Okay, so we certainly uh, had a, a bid okay, from uh, Unilever, and that certainly helped the FTSE 100. So you can see that we gapped higher to 7 to 7.330. We certainly have faded and given that all back now, okay, in terms of the FTSE. Um, certainly uh, a, a retracement there. Also, we've had uh, <clears throat> other uh, potential companies as well. Bovis Homes down 9% today, certainly under pressure. So given the fact that we've actually retested that uh, 5.330 zone, uh, the daily chart certainly has uh, negated the FIB 75% now. And the real next resistance certainly is seen around the uh, 7350 zone. Okay, uh, 60 minute chart has resistance at the uh, 7350 as well, so watch out for that. There is some resistance at 7340. Well, that will be your ultimate resistance zone, so watch out for that above. Okay, okay, now in terms of economic data today, given the fact that uh, Asian markets certainly have uh, pushed high on the back of US equities making new highs. We have had uh, German inflation data coming stronger than expected, thereby uh, obviously raised concerns with regards to the ECB tapering. There has been an article via Reuters uh, being spread in terms of um, in terms of uh, the ECB uh, certainly turning hawkish and uh, on the taper bandwagon. Okay, uh, now also with regards to Germany's uh, SPD uh, certainly uh, losing ground. Okay. Um, in terms of, uh, or should we say, Merkel's party losing ground and to the Social Democrats. So again, watch out for that in terms of the political ramifications. We have had German yields higher today as well, and there has been a divergence between German yields and French yields that are wider than expected. Okay. Uh, again, Merkel has commented on a potentially undervalued euro, so that's, uh, that story is certainly doing the rounds. And adding the fact that you have German inflation as well. Uh, Italian uncertainty with regards to the... Um, the IMF uh, raising questions with regards to their debt levels. So again, that certainly is a negative sign. Uh, okay, also with regards to Spain as well. So budget and deficit concerns certainly remain. Okay, and that ECP paper story is certainly doing the round as well. So all those factors in uh, certainly is uh, exerting a negative uh, effect. And you can certainly see the gap higher on the FTSE certainly faded uh, early in the morning. Can you see here? You had a uh, pop high at 7.330 led by US equities hitting new highs and and the market certainly has faded that thus far. Now, we are creating a potential h &S formation, so we'll certainly keep an eye on that in terms of the next potential move on the uh, on the actual FTSE 100 itself. Okay, now, uh, in terms of uh, the rest of the equities, let's start with the German DAX. Other than that, we really haven't had any major news flow in terms of the market itself. So let's go to the German DAX first and, for for first and foremost. A daily chart, German DAX still holding that gap fill level. That gap fill level has been quite important at 11.850. Okay, so certainly holding. 60 minute chart. 
Again, unfilled gap below, certainly looking to target that, holding resistance thus far. Certainly haven't made a new high, so just bear that in mind. And that unfilled gap below remains at 11. At 750. So watch out for 11,750. 11,700 will bounce quite sharply, and watch out for 11,750 gap fields below. Okay. Having said that, hey, remember China was up 1%. Okay. Just bear that in mind. U.S. equities obviously new highs. Given the light volume that you are going to uh, obviously experience, it's going to be very hard for the uh, equity certainly to flush lower. In terms of the French CAC, let's just go to the French CAC here. Daily chart, the French CAC first and foremost. I did explain. To subscribers on the weekend, certainly looking to short European equities. Uh, the daily chart, the French CAC remains bearish. Double top certainly is in, looking for a lower high, really, from my perspective. And you've certainly uh, experienced one, given the uh, pivot high to pivot low. Certainly a bounce, as you can see here, bounce up to the uh, potential uh, Fib 61% uh, before we started to reverse. And that certainly will be the remaining or recurring theme from my perspective. Again, you are looking at uh, gap fill here. Uh, gap fill below really remain the remains the target on the French CAC at 4830. And then you have another one slightly below. So watch out for that in terms of any market moves. Going to the smaller time frame or 10 minute chart, you certainly close the gap. Looking to bounce here now on the French CAC. Okay, so the gap above certainly has faded and has closed for my uh, interpretation. And you are now looking to potentially pop higher on the French CAC at this juncture, okay? But bear in mind the uh, the market is capped at the 4900 zone, okay? Uh, in terms of the FTSE, which I've already shown you, really, it's a uh, yeah, daily chart. Certainly has hit a broken past FIB 75%. The 7350 resistance really is inevitable now, okay? We have put in a topping tail, though, so bear that in mind. That's your Kraft Heinz uh, bid retraction topping tail. Uh, we have had uh, talk with regards to Article 50 as well, which has lifted the uh, uh, sterling, okay, and certainly put in a potential base, which may have ramifications later on, okay. 10-minute chart, the FTSE really is starting to show some bearish price action, but we'll see, see how US markets react, okay. You're looking at cap at 7.310 and 7.330. Certainly a double bottom has been put in there for now, and we'll see if we can make a higher high at 7.310, okay. In terms of the euro stocks, let's just quickly go over that for you as well. Whilst we're here, going over to the daily chart, <clears throat> uh, the double, triple top certainly holds on the daily. 60 minute chart, we've retraced, coming to gap fill now, coming into potential support. 10 minute chart as well, you are now into that potential retracement. If you take the pivot low to the pivot high, so you take the pivot low here to the pivot high, you can see that we've retraced 50 to 61 percent. So looking for a potential bounce here, given the fact that US equities and Chinese markets certainly higher. You have oil law above that $54 level as well. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European equities for now. Please be sure to visit your CFDs.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus and also visit TradeSignal, download the latest app. Goodbye now.